Welcome, welcome, welcome to Chance of Stevie, episode 367. I am your host, The Wiz, and today we are going to play Atomic Chess, one of my favorite chess variants. If you look through my game history, when I'm not streaming this stream and I'm playing chess chess for fun, it is often Atomic Chess. It has a soft spot in my heart because it's constantly exploding. And today we're going to focus on Pawn Storms, which is where you advance your pawns a lot. Here's why. Pawns are super valuable in Atomic Chess because they can trade for anything and boom, that thing blows up. Like, let's say, oh, there's a free pawn you can't take it because in atomic chess if you capture a pawn you explode it's very realistic um it's the same as real life actually if you capture a pawn you explode so let me show you how that works i'm not going to play with a friend i'm going to play with an enemy here so create a game you can see it's already variant is already on atomic that's because i'm a truthful person who tells the truth and i really was playing atomic before the stream so we're putting out a game seek here, one minute per side, four seconds added per move. So every time you move, you get another four seconds on your clock. That's really important for a person like me, because usually what I do for the first 59 seconds is blah, 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 blah. And then I'm like, oh, one second left. And if there's no increment, which means new time each each move, then I just run out of time and lose, which there are some episodes like that. I mean, sometimes, sometimes I play with no increment, and you can see that happening constantly. But... I think maybe my rating range is too restrictive. See, that's 2100. That's not okay. Let's put that down to 1800. Uh, we had an episode recently where I wanted to play only against very strong players. So I, I shortened that band up and I said, you had to be super good to play me. But that's not true because there's not very many super good people in the world. Let's be honest. If you're better than chess moves, you're pretty rare. So we're going to play against Angus 4 here. It is Angus's lucky day because I constantly get messages from Angus saying, help, I'm a cow. And he also says, I want to play atomic chess. And so this is great for Angus because we're going to play some atomic chess. Now, I've been exploring experimenting with d5 here in this position instead of e6. So let's try that here. f6 is forced. Knight of 3, f6 here is forced to the, so that the knight doesn't come down and just destroy you. So let's see how this goes. I think I can survive this, although it is a weird beard. So the move is bishop g4, attacking the queen. It looks like it's hanging for free, but here's the way this works. If there's any capture, the capturing piece is removed from the board also. It's an explosive capture. I can't play this. Um, but there's many things I can play, um, such as this, I guess. it's um, If I take the queen, my bishop blows up. Look at these tactics. And then he plays knight here. I can't take it without blowing up my own king. And he's threatening this bishop. So if I haven't moved this pawn out, the bishop is stuck, and I'm stuck too. So let's play here. Now the knight can't move without me capturing this pawn, blowing up his king. Very difficult to play this game in black. Just like real life, once again, um, you have a disadvantage when you're the black pieces because you move second, so you're a constant defender. So you know my theme right now is is pawn storms. Right now, my theme is simply survive storms. I don't want to lose, and I'm, it's very easy to lose here. So my queen's under attack. Mm. Here, maybe. Or here. Try this. See if I can survive this. I know I've I've been able to take his queen for free, but every move is critical in this game. You really can't just waste time. So, oh, that was a really loud explosion. Is there anything I can do about that explosion? Like turn it down or something? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, let's blow up his queen, I guess. And then now I'm down. And the way you measure being down actually in this game is you count the number of pieces in chess you're supposed to count like who's ahead by how much like okay he has three rooks and i haven't moved anything yet so i'm probably behind but in atomic chess you simply count like how much of each thing do i have and in this position i have eight pawns he has eight pawns but he has more things than i do because i have one thing here and he has three things the reason i count things is because Whenever you make a capture, you lose what you use. So you simply need a greater quantity of things in order to win at this game. So I don't mind so much that I'm losing my rook here. It's not such a big deal because all I need to do is have his bishop blow up, which I just did because it happens naturally. That was fantastic. So I want to open up this position quickly. I want to get this position open so my queen can come in here to this square and checkmate him. Um, that's 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 I win actually. Boom, one move. He shouldn't have moved that knight. It's very ironic, but uh, I win. That's ironic. Chess was wins. What an ironic outcome. The reason is if he gets his pieces mobilized with his rooks here, uh, rooks are very good in atomic chess, so I might have some trouble with that. But if I can break that open before his 
mobilization happens. Maybe I could do something in between. And look at that. I already won. So let's play again. Pawn Storm Atomic means I'm using the pawn. So let's type good luck. Then we're going to seek out a new opponent. So if you're watching live right now, keep an eye on the chat next to the board over that way because I'm going to put a link in the chat and you're going to get a chance to play me after this game. So get ready for that. So Atomic Chess Pawn Storms. I want to play C4, but that would be the loss of my king after this check. So let's play the knight out here. I, I love advancing pawns. In fact, I think you can move this F pawn two squares. I've been experimenting with that recently if they've played um, the E6 pawn blocking. So these two pawns are really critical, the C2 and F2 pawns, because they sit here and here. I'll mark them red. These locations protect these two diagonals very well against evil bishops that might want to come bishop you. Um, but this pawn is blocking this bishop, so I haven't got any fears. I'm totally bold. Oh, this is not good. I didn't anticipate this, which is kind of dumb, because it was right in front of my face, but, oh, he went for the extra pawn. I'm actually kind of happy that he only took an extra pawn, because what else he could do here is, like, maybe queen here, threatening explosion on my king, right? And I take it, blowing up my bishop. That'd be kind of bad. Or queen here, threatening explosion on my king, and I have to blow up three pieces to eliminate that scourge. So I'm actually kind of glad I only lost a pawn. Let's mobilize the rook as quickly as possible. I think he'll play c6, yeah, okay. And, uh, no, no, one option is bishop here. I mean, if he takes rook c7, and I've almost checkmated him, so he wouldn't take. The problem is that I'm just not cool enough for that. The problem is he does nothing. I mean, that's often a great counter in an atomic chess. It's like, wow, great move, I'm doing nothing. Good game. I'm going to try using the b-pawn for this. The downside of this is that now my knight can't come here or here, but look at that. Look at that. There doesn't seem to be any knight, so I guess I'm fine. I'll play a3. Keep that knight out. You want to keep enemy pieces away from your king, because once they're there, they're pretty much there. We're good. Okay, so now can I advance? I'm using the b-pawn here. If he takes, he loses his knight. If he pushes, I'm going to take here and try to penetrate. I'm going to try to penetrate. Are you okay with that? I'm going to try to penetrate with my rook right here on this G-rated chess show. I think I need to take something here. I think I need to take the knight. I'm kind of sad about that. But the knight could go to C2 and just such in my face. Oh, it's so obnoxious because if I want to take it, I blow myself up. It's like the suicide bomber's picnic convention. Okay, what happens next? This move? I could go here? What? I'm pretty dumb. I moved this so that I could capture this, actually. No comment, right? No comment. So it's a race to get your pieces out now, and I'm one move ahead because he has an extra knight. Whoa, ha, 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 my opponent has an extra knight, the poor guy. What's he even going to do with himself? So my rook is going to come out one move quicker, maybe two because I'm the white player, and that might mean the end of him. Here comes the, uh-oh, here, uh-oh. He's blocked me. I might be dead. Let's put the bishop on top of his king. Can't do it. I'm in big trouble here. Uh, these two pawns, it's going to take like two rooks to get them off the board. Yeah, okay. So my plan is to promote over here. I've got four pawns in this region. He has three, so I'm ahead by one. So I just have to really get my pawns really good. Oh, okay, I could get an open file here and get my rook in. This could be good. This could be good, or bad, but it also could be good. Hello, peace. I'm glad to see you in the show today. Um, for you YouTube viewers, that probably sounded a little weird. Half the audience, and by that I mean like 90%, watches the video <clears throat> after the live broadcast. And let me tell you why. Because the live broadcast has such bad bandwidth that it's like one pixel every half hour. It's like, oh, I think I see Chesswiz. Is that a chessboard next to him? And then it's like stream disconnected. I don't have a very good internet connection. So that's why not everyone watches live. Also, they don't always have time to do that because the show is on at 11 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. <laughs> like, I couldn't pick a worse time. That's uh, New York time, of course, but most chess players live in New York. That's why it's shaped that way. Can I win this? Maybe I can win this. Let's keep checking him and see what happens. I want to check him again. I guess that did. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that checkmate? 
Checkmate! White is victorious! Okay, so having a rook after in the last game, I'm like, okay, just count the pieces. And then if we count the pieces, he's winning, but suddenly my rook checkmates him. I actually think he made some big mistakes here, and I couldn't have won this game. In fact, I'm really curious, so I'm going to open up the curiosity board here and ask the computer. In fact, this is going to really mess up the stream, I think, but I don't care. I'm turning on computer analysis. Now, right now, my computer is doing two things at once. It's processing the video, and it's analyzing this position. And it says white is ahead, black is ahead... You can see it right there. But I'm ahead by seven, and that's a lot, so I'm the winner. Cool game. I win. Uh, that was good. I'm now going to throw a challenge into the chat. Thank you for the two games, Angus. You're not allowed to take this game because I'm going to play with a friend a rated game of Atomic Chess. Here we go. If you're the quickest clicker, you can play with me right now. If you're Angus, you cannot. In fact, I'm going to abort that game if you play with me because I'm tired of cows. I get a lot of comments about my kidney water. And they usually say something like, that's a big glass of water. It's a pretty good, pretty good comment, I think. Mm. We're playing against Roy Haddad. Cool. I'll say hi. Okay, so pawn storm atomic means push those pawns. Last game that worked really well. On the king side, I had four pawns, if you recall, against three. It was this shape, I guess. And I turn that into a win. <gasps> C5, that's dangerous, right? Okay, so here, I'm threatening to blow up his king. Okay, so then he'll have to block with knight. And then, and then the winning move is, I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about that on his turn. Uh, what's the winning move? I'd love to blow it up. This game is great for guys. I'll just put with this pawn here. <laughs> this game is really great for people like me with testosterone because blowing things up is somehow viscerally satisfying. Do you know what that means? I don't either. But it's good. It's definitely good. I think this was the wrong move. I think I could have won with this move. Queen here. Right? He has to play this. Then queen here. Threatening this. So he has to play... Oh, and I'm threatening... I'm threatening everything. So that's what I should have done. Oh. Well, I'll probably get more chance to win considering I got one chance in one move. Probably like in, in one more move I'll get another chance to win. So I'm not too concerned about losing my chance to win see how this goes. If I take the knight, I'll blow up his queen. That's so tempting. I'll do it. Bye-bye, queen. Chess Klein Chance wants to know if he can join that game with his app. I don't know, Chess Klein Kine. Why are you named Kine? There's no Klein in there. It's spelled like this. K-E-I-N-E. -E. Asterisk. I'll put that asterisk on there so my opponent knows I'm not talking about him. That'll work, right? Uh, we push this pawn here, of course, because that's so cool. Pawn Storm Atomic. I love Klein bottles, so my brain said that must be Klein, but it's not Klein, it's Kine. This is different. It's probably German. German's not my favorite language. I'll go here. <laughs> that was German, by the way. In German, the word here is pronounced here, and it actually means here. Isn't that great? German's nice for English speakers because you just have to go, and then you're speaking German. Okay, so he says he's bad. Nah, you're good. I'm just much better. Some people tell me that I shouldn't have such a huge ego. I just thought I'd mention that. So how do I win? Hmm. This is fun. This pawn storm is fun. Why do I, Why should I blow up his king when I can do this with my pawns? Dude, 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 dude. Let's hide the video while I, uh, while I, while I blow my nose. I'll be right back. Where's the button? I'll put the chessboard up. No, I can't do that. Where's the button? No, blah, 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 blah. Pawn Storm Atomic! Pawn Storm! I should come back. Hey, welcome to Chessman TV, episode three something. What's the next move? Pawn Storm Atomic! This is too fun. I think it's kind of risky to just keep on and oh yeah, boom! Oh yeah. Okay, now I should probably stop pushing pawns, but it's so fun. I can't stop pushing pawns. Now I want to promote this thing. Ooh, what's happening? Uh, is he going to... Ooh, if he goes here, I'll trade my queen for it. If he goes here, I'll trade my bishop for it. If he goes here, I'll trade my pawn for it. If he goes here, I'll do nothing. Okay, I'm going to promote. Here I go. Oh, this is great. Oh, I love playing people who are worse than me. The only thing better is... um. Havarti cheese. You guys ever had Havarti? It's really good. This person offered it to me and I said, I've already tried it and they punched me in the face. So I don't do that. That's the one thing you shouldn't do. 
uh, is this move? New queen, very good. At this point, I'm just kind of goofing off. That's the best way to goof. Goofing on is not recommended. So my queen can sit here where he can't checkmate me, and then I'll, I'll come blow myself up some more times. Maybe I should come blow myself up on this pawn and then pawn storm him. That's what I'll do. Roy, you in trouble. Okay. Um, 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 here I comes. <laughs> it's pawn storm atomic. I have to do this. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. I have to. Of course, it's about to come become queen storm. Queen storm atomic. I uh, lived on a road <laughs> that had a sign on it that actually had the word queen on the sign. And I was like, oh, it's a chess sign. But the funny thing was there was a tree right next to the sign. You know where this is going. I hope you don't know where this is going. I hope this just totally blindsides you. Good game, Roy. Good game. I enjoyed that. Especially the part at the beginning where I took your queen while blowing up your knight. I liked that part a lot. Thanks for the game. So... I'll put a seek out there in the middle. You can click that if you want to play some more. So this tree next to this sign that said queen, it just covered, its leaves were just perfectly leaf shaped to cover up the last part of the word. And so whenever I drove fast, I definitely can assert to you that my brain told me that the sign said queer. Yeah, it was, it was kind of weird. It was kind of weird to, to drive past a big sign that said queer all the time, but... What can you do? You have to drive. How else are you going to get past it? It's not like I'm going to like skateboard or something just so I can avoid looking at a sign that says queer. So I just, and then I would look again because you know that double take thing, it's real. It's not actually a conscious choice. Your brain says, look over there again. And before you can say, no, I don't want to, you've looked. It's the way life is. Okay. Uh, the next opponent is Angus 4. I'm not tired of Angus anymore. So let's play this one. Should we try this again? I don't think I got a great outcome. I actually think he was totally winning. So let's try e6. The problem was when he blew up like multiple things with one thing, I felt bad. What if I play knight here right now? Will I lose then? What if I play c6? Will I lose then? c6, bishop. Uh, will he really? Well, well, let's see what he'll do. How can I calculate if I don't see what he'll do first? Okay. So now I'm going to take this and then... His bishop will come out, and then I have to play this, and then his queen will come out check, and then I have to block that, and then his queen will come over here, and then I'll have to play d6, and then his queen will come in here, and, and no, we can't do that. No, nope. oh, and, and, and then I'll be okay. Okay, let's try it. Oh, this is so hard with black. One wrong move and you lose. In fact, all perfect moves and you lose. That's how hard atomic is for black. If you play perfectly, you lose. Okay, so now I have to take this. And the best move is to take it with the, take it with, um, the best, the best move right now is to take this <clears throat> with a pawn, and then bishop, and then king, and then there. Um, and then I'll lose this, and this, and this, and this, and this. I'll lose those things, and he'll just lose these two. Does that seem good? The alternative is to take with a queen. I'll try the alternative. Oh, it was the wrong way. Because then I'd have the open file and I could take this. Well, let's see how this goes. I'll go here. So now almost all of my entire army is blown up, but that's life. Uh, what do I have? Six things. He has eight. This is definitely bad. Pawn Storm Atomic is my only answer. Ooh. Ooh, he's playing it risky over there. Um, Pawn Storm Atomic is my only answer. So if I trade my knight for the pawn, then I can pawn, 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 pawn. Maybe I'll do that. Or I could, yeah. Here I comb. I can just imagine this guy with his huge hairbrush. He's like, here I comb! Okay, <laughs> my, my puns aren't very good today. In fact, they're, they're worse than usual, which is awful. Really, really bad puns. But what can you do? You certainly have no ability to turn off the video right now, so you pretty much have to watch. <laughs> Pawn storm atomic. Is this going to work? Push. Ah, I'm going to check and mate him. I hope I win. What's going to happen if he plays king h1? 
Oh, he didn't, so I don't have to worry about that. So just keep pushing, just keep pushing, just keep pushing, and then, um, and then push, and then I'll push, and then I'll play rook like this, in this S shape, this 5 shape here, and then I'll win. Is this going to work? <laughs> Looks like a giant 5, which represents the 5 victories I'm receiving through this game. Uh, logic is not my strong point. I think I should close this up before his rook visits me. Let's do that. This extra pawn is great for him, so uh, let's de demoralize it. Okay, so um, here it comes. So I got I got four more, four moves left until I win. Three moves now. Another option is to take this pawn. I think that's a bad option. Okay, I'm almost there. Here, and then he promotes, and then and then I win. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna be one move away because he's gonna make a new queen, and at that point I'm gonna be amused because I'm gonna defeat the enemy queen. I'm dropping all my frames. A knight! Oh, that's a cool move, bro. But what if I move here? Ooh. I almost took that, but then I would be embarrassed kind of taking a knight with my rook. That'd be embarrassing. Mm-hmm. And now I will win. I have a challenger. It's BC0123, rated atomic. Sounds perfect. Check. Check. This looks bad for you. I, I think I'm going to blow you up. Boom! Checkmate, Angus. Good game. Let's take this new challenger. Thank you for that game. How come I'm always the black pieces when I pay you? I don't know. But here comes our next opponent. His rating is higher than mine by 30,000 one thousandths of a point. That's a lot of rating points. So I'm looking forward to playing the black pieces again. Why I'm always black. It's so difficult to play Pawn Storm with the black pieces. We're going to try E6. Let's see if our opponents play the same thing again. Uh, this looks very familiar. Uh, maybe I'll have to look up this opening because this is going really bad for me. In fact, it's the same. So let's, uh, we have an extra minute here now. So let's think about this. If I take this blowing up my knight and the pawn, so the, all this is gone. Let's let's use red for everything that's gone. Then he plays here. Then I have to save my king like this, right? And then he blows up here, blowing up this, 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 and this, and this. So I've lost those five things and he's lost those things. But then I play here, blowing up this, 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 and this. Okay, so on the black side, we've lost six things. And on the white side, we've lost five things. But we've both lost a bishop and a knight. It's actually not too, not too not close. But I'm down a pawn, which means I'll, I'll just lose. I wonder if losing is good. Uh, according to this diagram, it's awful. So I'll do it. Okay. Good move, b4. I, I bet he's still in this opening boat. He's like, okay, so then after that, nah, 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 nah. Let me check chapter 6. Chapter 6, black plays badly. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's see what happens next. So the knight's going to come down here. Hopefully he won't move, and then I'll blow up his king. That's my plan. I was speaking with someone yesterday who said that their expertise... Listen closely now. This is important. Their expertise is to take boring topics and make them funny. I was like, wow, that's my expertise too. I'm playing chess on the internet. And it's, I always funny. The people who don't find it funny don't watch. So that's perfect. Um, but it turns out, it turns out they meant boring topics. They didn't mean like atomic chess with things exploding. Let me give you an idea. It was like, one of their books was like, Workman's Comp, which I don't even know if you know what that phrase is. It's so boring. Most people don't even know what it means. It's that boring, uh, but it's, but it's really boring. Workman's Comp is so it's like a thousand boringnesses combined into one giant lump of boring. That's what it's like. And I can't believe they would write a book about Workman's Comp. And another one was like, Downsizing. That was their book. Downsizing. Wow, I, I really want to read that book. I just love downsizing. I get up in the morning like, okay, what am I going to have for breakfast? Wait, I don't want to eat breakfast. I want to downsize. Then I'll eat some breakfast. Yeah, that's not the way my life works. So... So they were right, boring, boring at a whole new level. I think maybe I should have a downsizing show instead of chess, like every other show. Like on, on Tuesdays, I can play chess because no one can watch Tuesdays anyway. They have a job or, or school or whatever. But on Saturdays, we'll be like downsizing TV. And all I'll do, all for the entire 30-minute segment, is just fire people. That'll be the whole show. Be like, you're fired. And then I'll make my mouth all rectangle-shaped like our president. You're fired. Like that. Hey, you're right. Downsizing is kind of fun, actually. Okay. 
I might have survived this, actually. Uh, because this pawn, hopefully, will be obnoxious to him. No, he's going to trade his, his island. Oh. Ah, that's not good. I think I'll lose. I think I'll lose. Okay. We did that. Now what? So, I can trade my bishop for one of these, and my pawn for one of these, and my pawn for one of these, and the last one, that's not going to be so good. Oh, my king can sit in front of the last one. No, that's not going to work, because my bishop needs to also trade for that rook. Uh, I can only see ways to lose here. I'm, I'm a very resourceful person. Which means I have many resources. And one of my resources is this flag button over here. That button right there. I can't point because the mirror is mirroring right now. That button is my best resource. But I'm not going to click it just yet. He wins. I don't think there's anything I can do. The sad thing is he won from that opening thing where I traded six things for five things. Remember that diagram? When I was like, great, now I lose. That diagram represents his win. Should I take all the salt? Yes, I'll do that. Just because at least I can do one French thing before I lose. So my bishop is going to... I calculated this out. At least I, at least I know how I'm going to lose, right? Some people, they're like, I hope I die in my sleep. You know, because they don't want to know how they're going to lose. I hope I die in my sleep like my grandfather. Not like his passengers screaming. Hmm. I need to work on the context of my jokes, I think. <laughs> I had that joke in my brain for years, and then I was like, this is the moment! This is the moment I'll tell that joke about that grandfather. My grandfather, I mean, but, but it didn't work. You know why? Because it's a, I'm going to resign. That's my best resource. Let's take a new, let's play this guy again, because I want to be the white pieces where I instantly win instead of where you instantly win. That'd be great. Maybe the wrong moment to tell my grandfather joke. But the thing is, when you're doing stand-up and you're sitting down, your options are limited. For example, I'm not wearing any pants right now. That's just one example. Maybe not the best example. Hey, it's Toms. I'll definitely play you one game of Toms, and then I'll play you M. Fin Fins, and then that's the end of the show. Pawn Storm Atomic! Let's do it. we got two more games, Toms, and then if you hang around, I am Fins Fan. I'm Fins Fan. Oh, he's not I am Fins. He's I am Fins Fan. Well, that's second best. Then we'll play you two if you stick around. And then we'll call the show a show and we'll end the show. By the way, ooh, I think F3 is okay here. By the way, I've learned what I need to do about the Wiz letter, by the way. There's this sign up on the website, chesswiz.tv. You can scroll down and, and sign up for the Wiz letter. The problem with the Wiz letter is there is absolutely no context as to what it is. I mean, it might just be a letter. Like, I'll send you the letter N and be like, here's your Wiz letter N. And since you guys already have plenty of Ns, I can see why you haven't signed up. So I need to tell you what's in the Wiz letter. But if I tell you, then you're not going to sign up. I got a big problem here, because if I tell you, you're not going to sign up. This is Pawn Storm Atomic. This is where you just Pawn Storm until you win. See, when I get to E8, I win, so I'm going to Pawn Storm right up there and do it. So I can't really tell you what's in the Wiz letter, but I can tell you it's, it's like more than one letter. That's how good it is. Boom. And this should be pretty good attack right here. Now, a killer move will be... Check, check, check. Um, how do I get in there? Let's try this first. Because if he blocks with knight, then I can do this and then take that. Okay, this will be good. Because blowing this up blows that up. Terrorist chess is what one guy called it. Yep, that worked. I think he didn't want to play knight f6. <laughs> now that he does uh, lose with that move, he probably didn't want to play that. I got a request in the chat. Uh, this person is requesting that Judith Polger join the show. Boom. Yeah, I would also like to request Judith Polger join the show. Finspan is our final opponent. Thank you for that game, Toms. I love playing the white pieces. Huge advantage in Atomic Chess. Our final game here. In fact, this is our final game. That's why I said it was our final game. Good luck to I am Finspan. <clears throat> Um, yeah, if you're friends with Judith Polker right now, I would love it if you just texted her and said, 
because it technically doesn't make any noise, right? And you said, which that's the send over there. If you did that, I would love that because, well, actually, I wouldn't even know if you did that or not. So never mind, I wouldn't love it. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I don't think Judah Polgerson can join the show unless you make a difference and make it happen. So it's up to you at this point. Which is another way of saying I'm not going to do it. Because unfortunately, when you put responsibility on other people, it pretty much isn't going to get done. You got to do it yourself. That's what, make, that's what makes uh, starting a business so difficult. Because it's hard to do everything yourself, and when you hire people, then you got two problems. Let's see. Um, should I throw away my knight and then throw away my bishop? I kind of like that. What if I play here first, and if he blows me up, then I play here. And he's kind of in trouble because I'm going to go in here, and I'm also going to play here blowing this up. I'm going to try it. And I also like this position here, because if he moves his knight here or here, bang, 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 and I blow that up that way. So this is actually, I like the extra space, knight a3, knight h3. Excuse me. Great moves in atomic. <laughs> that was a very fitting burp, I think. It fit me well. The knight's going to come in here, and then what am I going to do with it? Take this rook, blowing up his knight, two pieces for one, and then I'll just win. Pawn storm is very tempting, but you can't move too much. Like this move, this move, that's all you can do. If you play, okay, here we go. If you move the F pawn two squares, wham. And I've learned the hard way that if you move the C pawn two squares, wham also. A lot of wham in this game. Here we go. Blowing it up. Here comes the final pawn storm too. This is it. M done one wants me to know what drunk came up with this mess. Thanks for telling me that. That was an insightful comment indeed. The live show is so much better, guys. If you're watching on YouTube right now, good choice, because the, the stream is so bad. I have I use a tree. I like to joke that I use a tree for Wi-Fi. Um, but it's not really funny, because this, the quality is so bad. I actually am using a tree for Wi-Fi. So he resigned here, and here's why. If I take his queen, it blows up his king. If he moves his queen, I'm going to move my bishop on top of his king, trapping his bishop here, and his only move is to resign. If he plays here and I play here, then he can get away this way. Do you see those arrows? That represents him dying later, because I would then blow up this pawn, blowing up his queen, and revealing a discovered check. That would be pretty bad for him. Finn's fan wants another game, and I am going to give that for two reasons. First of all, I am a generous person, but secondly and more importantly, I'm a very generous person, because I got the white pieces there and destroyed them because I moved first, and it's only nice to play this opening where you just lose in the first move. That's the only thing I can really do to repay him for, for being... Never mind. This is awful. I'm going to have to look this up. Who wants me to stay later? This is a different way to play. Who wants me to stay after the show and figure out how to not lose this? I tried it with the pawn, and I just lost. Remember that? So we're going to try this way again. So one, two, three, four, five, six pawns. If he blows these two up with this. One, two, three, four. I can't count this high. That's a lot. And then king, rook, rook, bishop, knight against king, rook, rook, knight, bishop. That's similar. So I'm going to be down two pawns. In fact, I already am. That, this is serious. Unless you're him. This is serious. I, I, I'm going to type uh-oh because I really think he sends me a take back. Well, okay. Thanks for the take back. Oh, it's for him. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> Mouse slip, frown, thank you. Okay. Okay, you're welcome. I'd rather win legitly. Hmm. Final game of the show. It better be a good one. Can I pawn storm four pawns against four and win that way? No. But I do have more mobile rooks. See this? My rooks can engage in just two moves. His rook's less mobile, so I need to open it up quickly. I can't, but I need to. That's the, that's the problem here. I can't. <laughs> Other than that, it's pretty good, right? Active rooks, this is good. Uh, but, it's, but it's actually better. So he's castling. So that's just like that last opponent when I played my knight here, and then I went do 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 and then the S shape, and I won that game while not capturing a knight. I love that. So let's see if I can do that again. Um, how did I start that? Here? F5 would be pretty good for him. Here? He might be able to close it up this time. Okay, and then I better get that pawn off my chest because that, that, that would hurt if I left it there. He blows me up, okay. Very creative guy. Blowing up the opponent. I think that's pretty smart. Um, 
So one thing I could do is trade my rook for this pawn after this, and then have my other rook come in, right? <laughs> so it was like, blow up one rook just to bring the other rook in. If I could do that really fast before he manages to block everything off with the bishop, I'd be okay. But he can do that in three moves. So take, this is my first move. Here's my second move. This is my third move. This is my fourth move. Seems like he could. Ah, oh, but I could close that off that way. And this knight can't... Okay, this might work. This might work. I'm going to start with this move. I'm going to start with this move. Okay. Another option is knight g4. Threatening this pawn. And threats. Threats are great. Because what if he has a heart attack during the threat? He won't be able to move anything. That could be... That could be good for me. Kind of bad for him, right? But I'm not him, so that doesn't matter. So knight g4. Knight... Okay, he'll move this pawn. So I'm, I'm not sure. I want to play that. I really want to lose my rook so that my other rook can be the champion. But it's so tempting to make a thread, which could work totally. And not, like, partially. It would be totally working, not just partially. So he, he definitely needs to think here about how to defend this area. So the other thing I could do is jump in here attacking his rook. Oh. I can lose the knight right away. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good wrap. Mm. I lose the knight, he goes here, then I go here, then he blocks me off, and then I blow him up, and my other rook is coming to town. I'm gonna lose the knight. Okay, I think you're in trouble, Finns fan. I think you're in trouble. I just lost my knight. Oh yes, this must be atomic chess, because in what other chess are you like, yes, I lost my knight, probably anti-chess, because I think he might be in trouble. He can't block with his bishop. Flying bishop's variant would really help him here. Knight, if he could move his knight over here, that would help. I don't see a way for him to do that in one move without cheating, which is really something I do a lot more than my opponents on this show. Uh, so I almost said stream. I just want to help you out there in case you were confused by my weird alliteralism. That's not the right word. I'm going to do it. He's thinking and thinking. I'm going to let him run out of time because... Uh, he deserves to run out of time. He resigns! What? What? Do I win? I need to go to the anal board, find out what that's all about, turn on the browser, stop the video smoothness. It is checkmate in eight moves. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. Minus eight. Chess Whiz is the winner. Wow. So all that practice in atomic chess really paid off, ladies and other ladies who watch the show, because there's totally more than one of you. This is the way to win an atomic. Checkmate the opponent. Yes, yes, we have learned so much. So I'm, I hope you enjoyed the show today. I really enjoyed the atomic chess that we play today. Next episode, though, we're going to play another of my favorite variants, anti-chess. But we're going to give it a little twist. We're going to play against a perfect opponent because you can actually play against the engine on this website, lichess.org, and play against a very, very beastly computer. So we're going to play atomic, I mean, anti-chess next episode. It's going to be a lot of fun. Do go to the website and sign up for the whiz letter because you've now that you've learned what's in it, it's definitely worth your time to sign up for that. This has been Chess with CV. Thanks for watching.